sure she'll come in or not. But hopefully. Let's see if Chi Chi comes in. Hey. Hey, sis. Hey. And the rest of you are a bunch of fucking pendejos. Hey, Texas. <coughs> yep. I should have put that in the fucking title. The rest of you is a bunch of pendejos. Well, while, while, while TT thinks about coming in. Good morning, baby. So, you're going back to fucking bed. Do you know that you can call the fucking bank and they'll overnight you a card now that you actually have somewhere to fucking be? Well, I know why you don't want to do that. Because you have your fucking card. You have your card. You guys are a bunch of fucking pendejos. That's why. That is why. And I know Don's live. What the actual fuck? This, so okay, so so what's gonna happen Saturday? You guys thought about that, huh? Cause now y'all took her. You guys can have her. You hear? You guys took over. Now you guys can fucking have her. Now she's y'all's problem. Now that's y'all's problem because you guys already gave her a nice fucking room. La la. Well, listen. She could have called the fucking bank. The bank overnight her a fucking card where she's at right now. Like, that's an address. She could go ahead and do so much. Call. Call, um, Salvation Army. Like, get things moving. Now that you actually have a place. But you're gonna go to fucking lay down. I don't understand. And I don't give a fuck. Eat steak, eat whatever. I just don't understand how your diet works. I don't get it. I don't. I. I don't suffer from that or whatever. But if that's if that's what you need to eat, then holy fucking hell, holy hell, who the fuck just eats steaks? Like, is that even possible? Like, you can only eat steaks on a diet. Like nobody, nope. So you guys are taking over. Go for it. Because on fucking Saturday, on motherfucking Saturday, I want to see how this shit pans out. I just want to see how this shit pans the fuck out. I am making cookies, girl. I am making cookies. Oh, bitch. Listen. Look, I'll show you. I am. Look. So they go from here to here. You made too many. <laughs> no, I haven't. I just started. I just fucking started. Yeah, they're going to be stadiums. Like for the Super Bowl. Please explain to, to us how this is any of your business, Pendeja. Okay, I'll explain and you get muted. So, I'm going to explain to you how it's my fucking business. It's my fucking business for the simple fucking reason that we have put time, energy, resources, um, all of this stuff for years with Churchy. So, how's that? And now, since you heard me, now you get blocked. So, go fuck yourself, Pendeja. And now I know you're fucking Latina or Latino. So, there. How's that? So, have you helped? Have you fucking helped her? In anything? Shut the fuck up. Don't come over here telling me how is anybody's fuck. Boy, you got fucking nerve. It's the fucking internet. You fucking scope it? It's everybody's goddamn business. Oh, maybe you missed the fucking memo. Cabrona. So, so, all you guys that are talking to Churchy right now, why isn't anybody telling her to call the fucking bank so they can overnight her a fucking bank card? I would like to know. I would like to also know how the fuck she paid for the fucking food. 
I don't give a fuck. She can eat steak or whatever. At least the pendeja. Yep. Damn fucking right. I am a fucking pendeja. And what? I'm a pendeja because I'm still fucking invested in this fucking app. Damn it. It was sent. What? Chi Chi. There's another video in question. Can you please answer us? Is that true? And listen, you know what? Even if there is, even if there is another fucking video in question, there could be fucking 10 more videos in question. Uh, Churchy didn't look distraught, not one fucking bit. Because I'm going to tell you what, some bitch go and beat my fucking ass. You think I'm going to walk out calmly the way Churchy did on the second video? Fuck no. Fuck no. My ass would have stayed in the fucking van. If I was churchy, but me, but me, I would have beat her fucking ass. We would have both went to fucking jail that night. Garrow fucking T you. Garrow fucking T you. We both would have been in the fucking, in the cell. We would have been cell buddies. So, so while you guys are over there buying her fucking steaks and food, Chi Chi said she took the first load out alone. Churchy sat in the bed, apparently. <sighs> I don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody gonna put their hands on me and fucking, uh, that didn't fucking happen. So, Chi Chi, even, even though, even though you've been, you've been, you've been mouthy and shit, I kind of see your side though. Because even if it was the second fucking video, who walks out calmly like that? Would you have walked out calmly in the second video if you just got your ass beat? Okay, and if it was the second video, in the first video, supposedly, she, according to Churchy, she threw all her shit out in the yard. So how do you throw somebody's belongings in the yard, and in the second video, you walk out with six motherfucking bags, and Churchy is walking out with one bag? So if it was the second fucking video, that's even more fucking telling that nothing fucking happened. What the fuck? You got me fucked up. <coughs> shit. Today her foot hurts. Nothing will get done. Well, listen. Listen. She needs to... She needs to fucking... Hey, Jamie. She needs to fucking clean her van. Not done. We're on fucking number day 10 already, right? Is it day 10? Okay. Not cleaning the van because her fucking foot hurts. It's swollen. That shit. She can't call the bank either? Why can't you call the bank? Hey, beautiful. Hey, beautifuls. Why can't you call the bank? Why can't you call the bank? Why can't you call Salvation Army? Saturday comes, same shit. And, 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 and guess what? Since you guys took over, you guys can take over from now on. You know how many good people she has lost? I know she has her fucking wallet, Annie. You think I'm stupid? And today she said, there's, you guys send PayPal money, and there's some things that can be done on the internet and others can't. Wait, what? But yesterday you were bitching and fucking complaining that there wasn't nothing you could be done because you didn't have your fucking wallet. Really? Get the fuck out of here. You're smarter than what fucking people think. 3 p.m. Bitch, if I woke up at 3 fucking p.m., I'll tell you what. My fucking life would be so fucking depressing. I get up at 5 fucking 15, 5.30 every fucking day. Every day. And on the weekends, hey, I get to sleep in a little. 7. Because my kids don't fucking sleep past 7 o'clock in the morning. I still die over her smash. Fuck the fucking chips. Fuck the chips. And what time is it? I don't even think they have a fucking voucher. She's going to go. Of course she's going to go back to fucking sleep right now. Of course she is. She already got what she wanted. My husband's off over. Look at that. I also agree with others. I said, the oh, my God, she always has that. This is why she doesn't want people to help her look. She has the ID. It, 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 that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, so where's, where's SS Brandy? Hey, Churchy, how about if we get somebody to meet you at the hotel and go look for your wallet? Churchy, how about if we find someone? To meet you in the hotel. And they'll help you look for your fucking wallet. 
That's a deal, Churchy. How about if we get somebody over there and uh, you make fucking two phone calls? Like one to get your fucking bank card? I know she did. Kyle, she fucking hauled ass. She kept moving. Oh, look, Violet. Violet will go and help you look. <coughs> She's in Jules school cursing Jules out? Shut up. Hold on. Why is she cursing Jules? Oh, God. Help her look, but that's it. Is she in Jules? Never. He's always the one thing I can say. No, she's not in Jules. He's always been transparent about, or what we see of his transparency. Oh, she was. Oh, man, fuck her steak. I don't understand what fucking diet requires you just to eat motherfucking steak. Violet says she'll go, Kyle. Gout diet. My husband has fucking gout. And that's why he can't be eating all that red meat and all that shit. But he's also fucking hard-headed and recorded live. That would be something. How about that? Hey, Violet, would you be willing to go live and do it? The panties plus diet. Fuck the panties. Oh, my God. I don't ever want to hear fucking ham, mashed, real butter, fucking panties. Look, Violet, Violet will fucking record it. Okay, so can someone call Churchy and tell her that Violet, I'm wearing gloves. I, I don't blame you. Dentic, fuck her panties. Someone should go out and let, yo, I'm telling you, Violet, Violet will go. You need to wear, okay, so somebody's going to go over to where Churchy's at to help her look for her fucking wallet. Because supposedly she don't got it. And then to see what's her excuse. So your leg hurts? Does your fucking fingers hurt to dial a fucking number? She told Jules to go peel potatoes. She says she can't leave. Why? Maybe she forgot it at the restaurant. Her fingers hurt. I don't know. She should call the bank. She should call the bank and they will overnight in, 20, in 24 hours. She will have her bank card. And go to the police and she could get her ID. The Salvation Army will give her her ID. What up, Neil? Hi, Nina. Hey, going? Hey. Just so fucking frustrated, man. No, I get it. I just no, don't understand. Because, Neil, Saturday, it's the same shit again. No, my, my point of view is... Um, why is there so much involvement with her bullshit? That's okay. what I don't get. Because, because she'll go and DM us and start fucking crying and be a pain in the fucking ass. That's why. Yeah, she's done it to me. And I've caught her and said, shut the fuck up. Like, deal with your life. Um, I stopped donating to her. And um, the bullshit discontinued. But um, could you imagine, like, being homeless or having that fight with Chi Chi being homeless again, for any of us that are, you know, normal headed or whatever, it's still stressful. It's a, a horrible situation to be in. I was homeless uh, with my sisters, my mom, and my daughter. Yeah, so was I. I mean, I don't want to go into that, but I, I'm thinking, like, we all know the stresses that contribute to being homeless or being in a car, for example. Like, it's difficult. Um, we blow up, we become, you know, actually, no, I'm gonna tell you, you know what, when I, when, when we left because it was a fucked up situation, right? So guess what my priorities were? My priorities were to make sure and get a safe place for my mom and the girls, at least, and my daughter with me and my brother being on the street, fuck it. You know, we were, we, we were already fucking, you know, 20 something. It didn't fucking matter, but I didn't sit there and fucking, you know, be like, woe is me, woe is me because woe is me is not going to fucking solve my fucking problem that I had in the present, which was then and there. So I went. We waited. Yeah. We got my mom and the girls in a whole, in a in a in a um shelter in Orlando, and they didn't have 
space enough for my daughter, I and my brother. So guess what? The next day, my daughter got in. So guess what I did? I went ahead and found a fucking job cleaning someone's fucking house. Well, it wasn't even cleaning. It was babysitting. And I did not for one fucking moment, Neil, do none of this shit. Yeah, but I even back then, we didn't we didn't have the opportunity to use Oh, there Periscope was opportunities, or Neil, because I stopped at a gas station apps, and a man told me um, he would pay me if I modeled in lingerie. And he would give me a thousand dollars. Yeah, so no, no, no. I, I'm re- I'm referring to the app. Like I'm referring to Periscope. I'm referring to all the apps that were available now. Back then, I was homeless too. Like with my nan, my brother, and myself, we were homeless as well. Um, but it's you know all I have to say is like it's one of the most stressful things. It's like moving. It's like getting a new job. It's okay. it Neil, is hard. Did you it's know you stressful. were gonna be homeless immediately, or did you have like like three four months that you knew you were gonna be homeless? No, we were homeless immediately. So, um, so I we, get the had- no, Nina. I understand the fact that she had three four months to get her priorities and everything, you know, sorted, intact, etc. But. I don't know. Is it like denial when you sort of like think, oh, this is happening and you get into that denial stage of going, oh, God, I'm going to be homeless in three months, but you just deny it before it becomes prevalent that it's actually going to happen? No. Um, look, I have, look I, 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 I'll be honest. Like, I have a soft spot for her. Everyone knows that. I but at the too. same time, like, I don't take a shit either. I've, I've stopped giving her money and I said, you're ridiculous. And um, I predicted that, like, wherever she was going was going to end up in a fucking shit show based on Periscope. Um, and it ended with Chi Chi. I don't know where she's going after the fact. I have no idea. I don't, Neil, I don't you know if Chi-Chi anyone else does. Her ass. Really? Pardon? You Pardon? believe Chi Chi hit her? No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I believe there was an altercation. I don't believe anyone was bashed <laughs> or, like, assaulted i could only pitch him a uh, look i'm gonna like make it a joke i could picture those two like wrestling on the ground if that makes I, sense I, I can't <laughs> and one jumping up going i'm leaving <laughs> well, you know yeah, like i don't you? think there's like that full assault where you oh, know God. the the cops need to be called and you know police are going to charge somebody for assault Look, there was obviously an altercation or some bullshit that happened. But at the end of the day, like, I only called in because I am um, compassionate. Like, I, I, I do feel for ter- for um, Churchy. I really do. I feel I like do she's got big balls, like, to trouble from her eviction house to where she's at now. It may not be that far. Morning, baby. But that takes balls, like, to do that anyway. But at the end of the day, that's one of the most stressful things in life to have to go through, to be homeless, traveling in your van. That doesn't really work. Yes, she got um, her van fixed, probably not correctly because it was only, what, what, 300 bucks and the van's so old. Um, May get her somewhere else. But, um, you know, I have concerns because it feels like her mental health has declined if you – you know, watch her scopes and the way she's speaking. She she appears defeated and upset. I know she's, like, talked about curtains and stakes and stuff like that. That may be a coping mechanism um, in order to survive. It may not necessarily be something that's just targeting, like, the curtains or the stake. Um, and maybe something that she needs to do in order to feel... Um, what's the word, in order to feel in control when she's not in control whatsoever. So I really hope she reaches her actual destination and, you know, find somebody or somewhere stable. Um, but I only relate back Honestly, to you know, I really truly find that she can find stable accommodation. That's just my point of view. Well, I think because she's always got in her way – here on Periscope with everybody, even before she was fucking kicked out, she thought the same thing because she had four months. She said, oh, you know what's going to happen? These people are still going to feel, you know, bad for me. Um, They're still going to help me and voila. So I've seen people on Periscope, Neil, 
that are really, truly fucking homeless. And there was a girl here with a baby. And that broke my fucking heart. And she mm -hmm. wasn't asking for shit. There wasn't no places in the shelter. And I even called. So it's like, so Churchy gets everything, but people that are really, you know. Uh, it, Nina, I said the same thing. I said, at the end of the day, she's better off than most people. She has a vehicle that covers her head from rain or from the, you know, the weather. She can sleep in that van and be comfortable enough to survive. There's people out there that do not have a vehicle that needs to get a tent or they're going to sleep under a bridge. I said that from day one. Um, and I get that. I truly do get that. Um, but I just hope that she does research destination. I, look, I'm, I'm taking, okay, this is my perspective. I'm taking all the bullshit from Periscope and throwing it in the bin. I'm take I'm looking at the principle of the matter. Churchy is churchy. I'm forgetting about every other thing she's done, if that makes sense. And looking at her as a human person, somebody that's humane that we should be compassionate about as humans as well. And she has no family. Like I don't have family. She has no one but herself. Yes, she can be a cunt. She can do what she does. But let's forget her all about that. She's still stuck in a huge predicament. You know what I mean? And that predicament could have been could have been resolved if she would have listened to the people that were trying to help her, Neil. Because Wait, listen. I can understand your point of view if no one yeah. was trying to help her. If she didn't have anyone backing her up before she got evicted. I would be like, Neil, I totally fucking agree with you a hundred fucking percent. But it wasn't like that. It was that people were actually no, I get it. Her, yeah. Calling her. Hey, go here, go there. Mm -hmm. It's still till now. She hasn't lifted up the fucking phone to call the bank. Yeah. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. I really do. Yesterday, um, at the Salvation Army, a, a, a hotel voucher was waiting for her. And I didn't say nothing bad about her. I said, listen, she fell upon hard times. She just needs a place to stay. You know, they said they would even help her with a gas voucher. And then she, you know what I'm saying? She doesn't want to go to the home, to a shelter. She doesn't want to go to assistant for living, you know, whatever. Like, uh, so then what? People are, you know, some people are just extremely stubborn. And it sounds ridiculous when you're in a predicament of being homeless and in a situation yes, where you've got nowhere to go. And, uh, you know, that stubbornness just overrides everything else. See, um, look, her PayPal works on her phone. And yesterday she told us she didn't have no gas. And when the King crew got her the fucking hotel, guess what happened, Neil? Somebody had given her $10 for fucking gas. Yeah, she did cut me from the fucking beans. She doesn't want to help. She just wants people. You can't listen, Neil. You cannot help someone that doesn't want to help themselves. I agree completely. I agree with that statement 100%. 100%. I agree with that. I don't, I just, I don't get it. Um, I, sometimes mm -hmm. you need to, everyone needs to let go and let <laughs> them hit their rock bottom um, in order for them to be like, to wake up and be and like, fuck, did. what the fuck is going on? Um, but you know what? I, I'm comfortable knowing that she at least has a, has a car to sleep in, you know? Um, but she doesn't want to sleep in the car, Neil. You slept well, in the car. Well, she has to. I've slept in the car. I've slept in a car, too. Um, she needs to sleep in the car. No one should be paying for hotels. It's like Miss Tina. Miss Tina never never brought hotel rooms. She slept in a vehicle and paid for her bullshit, you know? Um, whereas I wouldn't be paying for a hotel room for her. I'd be like, mate, put your fucking chair back. Sleep it in your fucking vehicle. It's warm enough, or turn the car on for half an hour, warm it up, then go to sleep. Um, so I don't think anybody should be supporting her hotel rooms, but compassionate wise, I feel like you know she does need some sort of assistance. No, she doesn't because, want it, and but not hotel her. ways. Nobody can force her because nobody. Can no, I agree. Her You're on right. Her neck. And be like, yo, wake the fuck up. This is reality. You're not going to get hotel rooms all the time. Exactly. And that's why I think um, Scope is really bad for her at this point in time. Because there's hundreds of different comments, you know, from I'm going to help you or 
you're a cunt, you're ugly, you're fat, or whatever. Oh, it's like distorting. Um, it's yeah, like... she should. She needs to like leave the app and get you know a few friends that she has off the app to really support her. I don't know. Sherry must be a good person. She knows a lot. I know Buffy, Buffy or Buffy. Yeah, she don't want to listen. To knows her body, personally. Huh? Didn't you see her um, yelling at all of them? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I was like, shit. But um, I don't know. I kind of put that into, you know, perspective of just being so desperate, like being so, you know, alone, yeah, alone. Like she's alone. She has no family, you know. So I kind of, I, I kind of understand and get that, like being I too, alone. Though, I, I think that in assistant living or um, somewhere, she can make. She can make friends and and you know and 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 be accompanied by other people her age. Yeah, but I guess with that comes with like a lack of independence, which Dude, is very difficult move. for a lot of people to lose their independence, um, which makes it very difficult. Um, I don't know. It's, it, it, look, it's a, it, it's a tough predicament. Um, I've stopped supporting her and I won't anymore, but I still am compassionate towards her, her bullshit and what she's going through. And, um, we'll just see what happens. No, I don't know. Yes, do. Uh, Brandy went to go meet her and Churchy kept moving around and not, um, waiting for Brandy to go help her. So Brandy wasn't going to waste her fucking gas all over fucking golf court. So Brandy went back home. See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to jump down. That was just my only thought process. Right. Um, but, um, you know, there may be a scope tomorrow, apparently, about me. Remember how I was skinning you and all that bullshit um, that happened years ago that may be played tomorrow just for FYI um, from Dr. Bud. So it was going to replay up to you to listen or whatever. So I didn't care. For but... me to listen. Listen. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this fucking clear right fucking now. If the shit from now on, I don't want to hear shit that happened a fucking year ago, fucking whatever the fuck it may be. That is fucking it. I don't fucking yeah. care. That I was three years ago. From the fucking yeah. past, that's not going to help me in the fucking present. Like, let it fucking go. If it didn't fucking affect you, I had to fucking deal with it, then just let the shit fucking go. Just let it go. That's it. He said it. He did it. Fuck it. It's done. Like, it has to do the same shit with fucking Heather coming up and saying that I wrote her these fucking DMs too. Please, do not involve me in any fucking bullshit. Like, mm -hmm. don't do it. Whether it's Neil, Heather, fucking whoever. I don't want to be part of it. Then I just won't go in the fucking room and don't fucking use me for fucking content. Thank you. Oh, look, I agree. And, um, oh, look, I said to him, like, you can play what you want to play, whether it's Nina or CC, because it's one of the two. And, um... Everybody knows what happened. It was live for months and it was spoken about. Why is all this and, shit being um, rehashed? Um, because Cece's come back into the picture. She's okay, live what again. What the fuck do I have to do with Cece? I have no idea, but um, it may, she made mention of you in some part about skinning people, which I said, obviously, remember. Um, so... Apparently, he has a story that he's going to play. And I said to him, I said to him, like, it's up to you whether you play it. But I guarantee you, I said, look, at the end of the day, like, I have a group of mates off the app that I speak to. Everybody else I don't care about. It is what it is. I say, it's not going to change their mindset against me because they know who I am as a human person, you know. And... um well, anyway, like, fucking well, I'm not... crazy. It ain't nobody going to be able to hear shit, bud, because you fucking talk, talk through the whole damn thing. Yeah. Fucking and my um, I said, mate, you can play it all you want. I said, it's not going to change mindsets of my mates that I know off the app and I speak to every day. I said, it's up to you. I said, you playing the DMs that you played from two and a half years ago that you played tonight was absolutely ridiculous. It was not some sort of scoop. Everybody knows about it, you know? It's ridiculous. It's stupid. Okay, well, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but please do not... But I, just wanted to, I just wanted to pre-warn you, just in oh, case. I don't know, because I haven't... 
Um, shit. This is the first time I'm hearing about this. Yeah. But that was from Bud's mouth. So, anyway, I'm going to jump off. Um, Sorry, thanks for letting me in. Oh, you're welcome. Churchy, I hope you get where you need to go if you're listening. And all your other guys, if you support her in any way, just maybe emotionally support her. Don't financially oh, yeah, support her so she can actually move oh, for forward in a positive manner. She can't dial the phone number to call the bank and do everything she needs Good to night, do on guys. the phone. I don't understand. That takes me off. That gives me more reason not to go in Bud's room. I'm not understanding why this shit is fucking being brought up. Like, what do I have to do with this? I don't. I. I don't fucking understand. What. What. what what's the fucking point? I know there's no missing wallet, Phil. Like. I don't, I don't, I don't, I haven't even fucking even heard, let me see. I don't even know if I got a fucking DM. Ugh. What the fuck? No. Nope. Hey, baby. Oh, here goes. Wally Gate 2020. Ain't that a bitch? But now she could pay for shit and remark. Well, miraculously, she came up with fucking gas and everything. So her fucking leg hurts and so do her fucking fingers, her hand. She can't reach her fucking cell phone to call and order shit. That's what I'm talking about, man. If you can't help yourself, then what the fuck? Like, dude. Now I'm fucking pissed. I think she found the wallet yesterday. That's why she was sitting at Five Guys so she can eat there. You know what, Carrie? I think so, too. Honestly, I I, I don't really want to speculate. On anything, I got yelled last night for telling Bud to man up and stop tucking. Tucking what? Can we take bets on the next emergency? Fuck no. It's going to be Saturday. Saturday. It's going to be Saturday. You know that's when it's going to be? Because that's when she has to fucking check out. And I hope for your fucking sake, she checks out on fucking time. What? Speak English. Who? Dawn? Wait, what? Who speaks English? Bud? What do you mean? He doesn't speak in he speaks English. Don't he speak English? Fuck my cookies. I bet she finds a wallet and gets gas, her purse snatch, fifty dollars. She got food stamps yesterday, and why does she still need steaks and fruit? She said Bud made fun of her. Oh wait, hold on. A man called into a school the other day with a speech impediment and Bud hung, hung up on him saying he can't speak English. Well, that's fucking rude. My mama don't really fucking speak good English. So what? Nina, Nina, Bud brought back CC because he was losing numbers. How did she get food stamps while traveling? Because she didn't report it. Um, Stu, if you don't report that you're getting, that you're leaving, they still give them to you. So she still has them. Remember, it goes into account. I thought he was just an Aussie. Well, my mom don't speak good fucking English, so, um, but trust me, she got to curse your motherfucking ass out. She sure will. She sure, fi you'll understand her then. You will surely fucking understand my mama if she curses your ass out because she speaks better English when she's pissed than when she's happy. Trust and believe that. She sure does. So, the speaking English situation, it's kind of fucking stupid. So, food stamps are loaded to a cart. Yes, love, they are. Now they are. Nina, would you rather wash Churchy's feet or cut her toenails? I'd rather f fucking swallow bleach. Honestly, sorry. Envelope, is your husband still there? Mr. Envelope, control your wife. She's out of order. You heard Mr. Envelope? She said all her donors were schmucks except their sexy keen. Same here, pass the bleach. Yep. I don't see anyone bashing when you beg. I didn't see anyone bashing you when you winks. I didn't beg. Um, I didn't beg for that. She uh, sent it to me. I didn't beg for it. Why'd you see me begging? Sorry. 
She sent it because she wanted to, and I told her not to. Mr. Envelope, control your wifey. See? Swallow bleach. I can't. Yes, I, I'd rather swallow bleach. Mr. Envelope, are you paying attention? Make your husband a Mr. Envelope account. He's not. Golf on. Ah. Damn it. <coughs> I can't. That's that. Call her envelope. That's what I call her envelope. What is it? What does it have? She has a fucking envelope emoji up there. Like an envelope picture in her profile. What the fuck is my... Oh, here. Sorry. I'm trying to do 50 minutes. What's up, girl? Hey, hey. Someone's uh, chat below wants to try and talk. That I come. Somebody up from the chat wants you what? They're, they're trying to talk me out of uh, releasing my group on the whole churchy incident, giving them an okay, opportunity. So I'm a little confused. What is it exactly that you do? Me? Yeah. Oh, we just provide information. And do what? No, nothing. That's it. Like what agencies? Uh, all of them. He's not a vigilante. I mean, Stop. there's a lot of there's a lot of agencies. I mean, what kind of agencies? There's no get arrested ever. If if people are stuff, well, why would you have anybody here get arrested? What's that? Are you law enforcement? No, no, no. No? Oh. No. I don't know. I'm just asking. Yeah, no. Asking for a friend. <laughs> I get it. I mean, there's travel agencies. There's fucking uh, cruise agencies. Yeah. I mean, there's fucking CIA, FBI. I mean, what agencies are we talking about here? Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. No, it, short. What my group does is they put together a file. Sorry. In the deep freezer. Wait, so what kind of agency you want to let go on Churchy for what? Oh, on Monday I'll make a call, one call and it's done. One call, one email. That's it. To to who and for what? Like, what are you doing? Well, I don't give out that. No, 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 no. Oh my God! Think on the subject. Like, do what? Well, I don't. I don't tell. Sorry, that's. I'm not asking you for your contacts. I'm asking, like, do what? Like, do what? Nothing. Nothing. You, on Monday, if she has not come out, look, I don't care. I, beggars do not bug me. I think, I think, I, I, see, Keen, the way he does his, his stuff, he's, he's not, uh, he's not trying to bullshit anybody. He's not trying to take advantage of elderly. He's, uh, I don't give a shit if you want to pay you pay for me beggar but he's he's not a so, right okay yeah. so so Ch churchy churchy falls into one or two categories and everybody falls into this regardless you either a think she needs help couldn't be driving or you think she's and she needs as far as that stuff goes. How about she just begging for money? How about she just begging for money and, and we've handled it five years if, and how about if we just let it go and you don't it, need to fucking call nobody? Yeah, if that was the case, then yeah. Okay, John. And I just woke up. Okay. I'm not just I'm not understanding why you're pussyfooting around the situation instead of just coming not, out and saying, hey. I, ask me a question, I'll answer it. I did, and you keep saying, I say, what ask, agencies? You're just like, you know, you know. So I'm like, travel. No, I, no, no, no. So you want to oh, have no, 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 no. Have I ever said or typed any of that bullshit? So please stop. Ghostbusters. I fuck. I'm lost with you, honestly, Kevin. You're pussy footing around, and I'm not understanding. No, They've not. already called answered, welfare check on her. You I answered every question you asked. So, Kevin, if you're really that's doing something that's scamming, talk about why? Babe. <laughs> why haven't you gone, why haven't you gone after Soroka? Let's be I, I don't I don't agree with her methods, but it is her methods. And Soroka, she's a 
Mike Soroka on almost every broadcast he does says this is an act. He comes not stupid. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. But him no, saying this this is all an act is 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 small potatoes compared to the rest of his content. You know. It, so you're saying when I don't, he sold T-shirts for a hundred dollars, he said, "Everybody, send me a hundred dollars. I'm going to send out these T-shirts. This yeah. is all an act." Come on. I don't need I don't need your recommendation or confirmation. Hey, ask me a straight up question. I'll tell you. I believe Nina asked you seventeen questions in a I row, and you every just said one of them all of them. I, as I all of them. So uh, uh, all of the agencies. There you go. You make one phone call. Yeah. Okay. To an agency, you said. So, someone, I said what agency? So, well, I, 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 and again, my answer is I'm not going to tell you. So why even bring so, it up then, Kevin? So why come up that here? That is my and, answer. And, is, is it? Isn't that an answer? I'm not gonna tell you. Isn't that that's pussy putting around the answer? Okay, you you can't just opinion, that's fine. Blurt out all that, and, and then especially on this app, and especially in a beam, say I'm not going to tell you. She has to. Um, this is Wait, Periscope, what else, sir. What else, what else, not what fucking questions? sixth grade. What other questions do you have? Okay, what what is it you want to have done to her? To her. No. What is it that Kevin you want to have done docked. to church? You by calling? Kevin, Kevin doesn't even use real names, so stop. Can you can you okay. can you so, answer so, can you answer Kevin, my question? What do you want the, the end game to be with churchy? What do you yeah. want the end game to be with churchy? One okay. of two things, yes. right? And you either the two categories. She either needs help or needs to stop what she's doing. Okay. And if she needs help, what are you gonna do about it? Me? Nothing. Okay, oh then we'll God, leave it at that. Dude. Because if we say I, the other I have one, no you're control gonna, you're over her. Go ahead and call one I have, of the agencies I have and no get her in trouble. Nina, I have no, here, Nina. myself. That's yeah. And we need some fabuloso in the beam. What? Any, well, any well, we need I fabuloso in the beam. Tool. First any of other all, we can all agree. Before I drop down, we can all agree. Okay. He is extremely. So here, fabuloso means to clean up the fucking beam. Like she's still part of our fucking community, whether we like it or not. He also has a Facebook group full of a bunch of vigilante people, and they use dark web backdoor services to have people committed or have, you know, whatever they feel is the help. So let's all agree. Churchy is a smart woman. That woman, I guarantee you, three quarters of us could uh, know what that know. term is that she means, but it, it just makes me mad because I've seen him saying this in many, many beans that he's giving her till Monday to either do this or stop. She's not holding a gun to anyone's head. And for everyone to be losing sleep and going out of their mind over it is crazy. She is smart. She knows exactly what she's doing. And she's people that start watching it. They start helping. I mean, we're only attracting more attention to it because we all keep going on about it. I am right, Bridget. But look what just happened. We wanted her to stay in complaining that she doesn't have a place to go. Well, then we stop giving it to her because eventually all those people that are giving her money, they're going to run out of resources. I'm going to tell you, if somebody I knew that was very credible on here said, hey, I'm homeless. I need a place. I could I could pony up for a night. Oh, no, nah, you're my best friend. I, I'll have you stay in my house. Thank you, Nina. I'm, I'm, I'm going to drop down. You're welcome. I'm going to drop too. It Anytime. just made me mad when I right, Kevin again. I, know, I don't know what the fuck I know what he's on, been honestly. saying. And Thank it's you. Just, it's just ridiculous. Com having her committed is is not the answer. She does. Yeah, that. that was. Yeah, that, that's a little bit much. But she needs to seek him out. What? He just does it for attention. With 500 people in the room, someone always going to be chief, save a churchy. Oh, boy. Lord have mercy. Well, I'm just saying, it is easy. Um, Saturday will come, and, uh, yep, well, there, they took over, so, I mean, fuck it, fuck it now, <coughs> hey, baby, she wants to meet someone for a tank of gas, she'll meet someone for a tank of gas, she wants to sit in her van and be cold, She'll stay in her van. Wants to get out and risk getting a little wet in the rain. 
to go through her things in the back. She will or she won't. No one else can do anything for her. <sighs> That's it. You I know, but it's just like, like, no, I just don't understand. Like, if you have all these resources and you're right there, you're right, right there. All you need to do is call. And there, she, it will make your life so much easier. She does, you know, it's what we want her to go to social services. We want her to go somewhere to help her with her ID. Oh, well, social services is out of the question, boo boo. And so is fucking a shelter. You already know. She already said it. There is no fucking way in hell. You so, already know this. Why are we banging our heads so much? She's, what was she doing before? Yelling people and fucking crying. And then, and uh, I don't know. What was she doing before Periscope? How was she surviving? I don't know. That's a good question. So she'll have to go back to doing whatever that was. Pardon? No, somebody. I don't know if this was something that Chi Chi and Churchy brought up themselves. There's so much we don't know. We're not inside Churchy's head. And as long as people keep, you know, enabling her, enabled, she's, she's manipulated everybody. She's a good manipulator. Yeah, I was gonna show you guys. So, I um, hold on, let me put it. Have a good day, y'all. Peace. You too, baby. Thank you for calling in. All right, hold on, let me change this one. So, I she found the soap I made her, but she hasn't used it. So, you know, like um, people put the little fake fish. I have them in. I have the little fake fish. Um, but that's a real fish. That's like a, a fish made out of soap. So I made it look. It's soap. So I made two different ones. So the inside of it is actually you can use it because it's it's actually a soap. So it's not a plastic or it's not rubber or nothing. And then all of these. I made two. And then I've made this kind I made this one. I made these. I have more up there. Yeah. I use glycerin, goat's milk, donkey's milk, um, shea butter, avocado, um, olive oil. It depends. Um, you tell me what type of skin you have, and I will make the soap according. Yeah, donkey milk. The fish ones. Yeah. So I went ahead and made a mold of... Yeah, it's milk. Yes. <laughs> so if you guys, um, yes, donkey's milk, just like goat's milk. <clears throat> and the properties on it, it's really good. So if you guys didn't know, donkey's milk is as good as um, goat's milk. Um, Where's my Twitter? No, you don't smell like fish. You can have it smell like whatever you want to. That's my Twitter. So they're both gross. Obviously, but I'm watching for afternoon tea. So I'll wait. Wait, what? <laughs> Johnny. <coughs> Taste. Yeah, but you could my DMs are open. My my DMs are open. And I also make face scrubs. I'll show you. Wait, let me put you back there. Those are pretty much gone. At the farmer's market? Mm, I don't know. So. All right. So I'll show you. Okay. So these are um, active charcoal and sugar scrubs. Um, these are bath salts. So is this one. Right there. Um, and those look like these. So one of those, you squeeze it in your hand, you put a little water, and you clean your face. And these are oatmeal. No, I do the uh, melt and pour ones. I don't use lye. And then these are melon. And they're sugar scrubs. Yeah, they smell like you can eat them too. Did you see the cupcakes I made? Hold on, I'll show you this one. I think I only have, oh, here. I have these left. 
And I think I have two mermaids. I have one. Okay. Or two. All right. Right here. Okay. So that is a soap. See the mermaid? And then these are that soap too. Yeah. So these I have made and these sold a lot. Yep. And then they look like your breath. Really? <laughs> Thank you. And then these right there. That one. And then those. Yeah. <laughs> and then I make bath bombs too. Any type of, let me see if I have the bath bombs on here. I have them in, um, oh, here. All right. Thank you. All right. So these are the bath bombs that I make. No. How about no? If you wanted to, yeah. Yep. Those are lavender, lavender. Those are rose vanilla. These are oatmeal, um, coconut, goat's milk, and almond. These are rose. These are honey, almond, and goat's milk. Red pineapple crush. Red pineapple, let me see. Lavender. I did one live. So, let's see. Um... They look edible. Yeah. And this is an oatmeal soap. I make like coffee, oatmeal. It depends what type of skin you have. You tell me if it's dry or oily or whatever. You wouldn't want to use them. So my sister's getting married in Vegas on March 13th. I've been looking for something to give her. Oh, my God. Um, You can. Oh, I also make puppy soap. And these are made with goat's milk. Um, And this is really good for their skin. And I add oatmeal if they're itchy. Or whatever the case may be. And these I also sell for them. Wait, your sister. DM me. We can we can do something. And this is mocha, espresso, and co coffee. Mocha and espresso. Oh, my God. And these are active charcoal. These are the ones my kids use for their, for their face. Oh, and I made a Colombian flag. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, DM me. Uh, thank you. I've made, um, let me see. Oh, I made these too. No, this is it. All right, so I made, all. I still have, I think, two of those. And I still have these. Snap. You can snap me. Yeah, there's soap envelope and then these are for kids so if the kids don't want to take a shower they will because you put a toy in the middle and then until they reach it then they take a shower with them yes envelope hey nina nina do you have like a like on your twitter are there pictures of all these all these products you have no but i can um send them to you you should, on your Twitter account, make a folder of all of your products. Actually, I should just make a Twitter account for that. It, that would be a better idea than you could separate, you know, personal and business. But um, you're going through them and we're looking at them. But then it's like, wait, go back. I want to look at that other one. So get like a little, you know, set, set up another account for it or whatever you want to do. Or even in your own account, whatever. You know, your, your, your main Twitter account has a lot of people in it. I would suggest keeping it on there. But um, it would be easy to oh, separate. I could just, but I could just promote it on there, and then it'll go. Cause um, my not son, the same though, Nina. My son is making these um acid wash shirts. Yeah, I would keep it. I mean, how many followers do you have on Twitter? You have quite a few, right? Yeah, I don't really like adding a lot of people on my Twitter. Um. Yeah, but oh, that one too. Those are potential customers. All those people oh, that follow you. Open. Well, I could just leave my Twitter unlocked. Yeah. 
it's up to you, but you need to, you need to get a picture of all of those out there and like put like a little suggested price list or something. All right. Cause I think like even that person that was te just messaging you about um, a bridal party, you know, you could be getting, who know, and what's cool about the bridal party ones is it's the same soap 10, 15, 20, whatever times, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Put it together. I, 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 I think so you should. My husband's, my husband's um, yeah. best friend um, had a baby shower and these are the ones that I made for the baby shower and that's soap. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So I made, everybody got one of these. That's cute. I love the fish ones too. That's kind of crazy how you did that. Yeah, I'll show you the fish ones. Don't you guys agree? Everybody push one if you agree that she should get some kind of product page or something. I am did Sephora bags and all of those sold. Like, oh, I thought I had another fish. And Nina, I um. That's a regular. Like, I made the fish out of soap and I hand painted it and I put it inside of the soap. I'm in marketing, Nina. So um. Oh, nice. Um, just wanted to help out and let you know. And I, I think maybe figuring out how to put these on your current Twitter page. I know you don't like to mix the two, but um, all of those followers are potential customers for one thing or another. So oh, that's true. And it's all about getting followers. So the base of followers that you have are pretty decent, I would imagine, without having any paid yeah, media. I only, accept, I only, I don't, I don't really accept people that I don't know. Um, and most of the people that are on my Twitter, I do. Right. I don't really like to be messy on Twitter. I mean, I then try to. Muffin Pony just said something, Nina, that I know you're not by your phone. And I can't, I can't even believe that I'm saying Muffin Pony. But um, eh. they, you should set up Etsy for your stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I was trying that. And I was getting my sister to fucking kind of help me. But I swear, Nina, I've seen people on YouTube who do this for careers. And Nina, you could totally put, you set your own your Etsy page up, no problem. Right. Thank you. You would have no problem. Go, just go, just this weekend, spend some time looking at other people's Etsy pages, and then you can Google the shit out of how to set one up, and you'll be on your way. I can't believe people didn't go nuts over the Periscope, so... I am... Um, now, I for all this, um, about the pretzels. I have to make pretzels too this weekend. You can make big puffs. Yeah, the the thing is, like, I my crochet stuff on Etsy. It's not bad. I've made some sales, but someone says it's really expensive. Nina, I'm listening. For this free marketing help I just gave you, I get billed out at a pretty high rate. I would like you to make a churchy van soap. A churchy's ass soap <laughs> van. What? Van, not ass. Oh, How do you get ass out of van? Ass. I thought you said ass. Oh, well, for I was fuck's about sake. To freaking for take fuck's my sake. gloves off and be like, what? I'll no. See, if okay. you make a churchy's van, All right. people. <laughs> the crying face soap. You know that there's ashes for the little kids? But I was like, you know what? That's great. And then the whole thing is used. Don't put soap. Non soap and soap, but do a ham and potatoes plate then? Oh my god, you yeah, could... cool. I mean, that's gonna have to wait because this weekend I have like like uh stuff for the Super Bowl and all next week, so I'm getting organized. What are, what are you making for the Super Bowl? What food? I am making um Super Bowl cookies, pretzels, rice krispie treats. Um, I'm making arepa 